the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The book of Isaiah 43 verse 1 Israel, the Lord who created you says, Don't be afraid. I will save you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. Your troubles will not overwhelm you. When you pass through fire, you will not be burned. The hard trials that come will not hurt you. I am the Lord your God, the Holy God of Israel who saves you. I will give up whole nation to save your life because you are Precious to me, because I love you and give you honor. Don't be afraid. I am with you. I am with you. Dear friends, financial abundance with God's grace. In this series, we are learning to grow in richness in growing in richness. In the last class I have taken, I spoke to you, what is our responsibility? How I take the responsibility to come up in the richness? Now, I tell you, remember always, God's love is so much. God has a great plan. That plan, you have to live in the royal anointing. That message is the message of Pope Peter, the first Pope. You are the royal priesthood, your kingly nation, because we are the God's children. And Jesus is born from the king, the family of King David. And the child is having the right of inheritance. The royal anointing, it is there. So always remember, it is a God's plan. Sometimes people think, internal conflict. Do I have to live in the richness? Is it against God's plan? Remember, God is a loving father. God never wanted to put you in the kachra box in the gutter, into the living poverty. He is a saviour. He come to hold you, to come up, live a life in the fullness, abundance, richness, greater glory. That is the purpose of God's mission. That there should not be, there is no need of internal conflict to living in richness. Is it against God's plan or not? It is a God's plan. You live in the blessing. Now in this session, last session I taught you, you must write dream journal. Dream journal. Dream journal. Whatever the internal desires of your heart, you have to write it down. All the, your desires, all your plans, you must write down in your beautiful diary every day your dreams must come alive read it every day before your prayer and meditation and when you prepare the dream channel and certain things you have to be very clear when you prepare a dream channel it should be you write down Everything should be, it is in the present tense. Present perfect tense. So yes, Lord, I give you, in yesterday's talk, I give you every day and every way I am getting richer and richer and richer. 
it is in the present continuous form regularly i am getting richer and richer so always it should be in the present tense or present perfect tense why all the blessing it is manifested already on the cross now your duty is in faith you claim it it's already given right now you are receiving i am blessed i am getting better and better so it should be when you write down in the dream channel should be in the present tense that is the first point second point it should be it should be in the positive sentence it should be the positive what does it mean by present tense and positive positive way and you may be praying you don't write take away all my sorrow no it is when you say the word sorrow means that should be that will be the internal picture the language of the prayer is always the picture that is will be the emotion you shift into the positive way i am always joyful cheerful and happy i am rich abundant and prosperous it is a positive rich instead of saying lord take away my debts you can say day by day i am getting richer and richer i am set free i claim financial freedom claim it so it should be the positive way positive way positive way in the present tense i am joyful i am joyful it is already happened i am joyful i am it is in my that i claim that is in the present tense i am joyful cheerful and happy i am blessed it is in the present tense and positive sentence day by day i am getting richer and richer it is in the present tense and positive tense and third point it should be very very specific that should be clarity in your mind whatever the prayer intention you are writing in the dream journal it is dream journal should it will be there will be clarity in your mind clarity in your mind you will have a clarity in your mind it will be there that clarity whatever it should be very clear clarity it should be clarity it should be very very specific specific it must be there specific means you must be it is in the language english language you say abstract and concrete and concrete means you can see it feel it anything when you pray so when you write down the dream journal your intention it should be very specific with the clarity clarity and i remember one child it's a motorcycle i told him with all the specification write it down must be able to pray for motorcycle must see it when one lady was praying for a house i told her you feel it see it your beautiful house how you are living it and within 6 month and she was financially that time she was beginning it was it is completely empty then she was able to sell the property and get lot of money everything work on very well and she was telling how i was visualizing my house how i was living everything came for the manifestation everything came into manifestation that is the beautiful thing so it should be very very specific should be very specific very clear inside your mind and another point when you write down in the dream journal it should be achievable it should not be like an utopian idea no should be whatever it can be you are writing down it is from the heart of god with the god's grace we are working out should be achievable should be intellectually it should be what you can conceive in your mind conceive in your mind so that is why when we work with the patients we say i am getting rich, 
getting better and better. My health is improving. That you can say. Suppose you can't say I am healed because you are in a sickness. And I am getting better and better inside the mind. You can say I am healed. So it should be achievable. I remember once I was working. I give you an example, beautiful example. One child was wanted to get a good mark. And he was very low in his studies. And I told him, can you feel it? That can you pray for 60%? He was, he told it, highest mark ever he got it, 55. Then he told it, yes, 60. Then I told him, visualize that. That achievable, the 60%. Then it became 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. And final exam he got 85 percentage. So it should be achievable. It should be achievable. And it should be, make it a time bound also. Time bound also. Time bound. And make it a very time schedule. Yes, I, my goal has to be achieved. But you have to be achieved in three months, six months, one year, three year, five year, ten year. Like that time bound. You must have it. Must have it. Not live, you should not live for today. You should not live in the comfort zone. And you must have your financial freedom in your life. Financial freedom means living in the abundance financial freedom. So that is why you must set time-bound goals in the financial area. So these are the points I wanted to tell you. When you write down dream channel, it should be positive, it should be achievable, it should be in the present tense, it should be in the in the very with the clarity and all the specific way and should be achievable, should be time bound and you must be able to visualize it and you with a feeling of gratitude you write it. I am so happy and grateful and yes I am getting richer and richer. So you write it with the emotion of gratitude and joy. And that is the way we prepare our dream journal. It is a journal to grow in financial abundance. God bless you. Amen.